Hi, this is Michael Nielsen. I'm gonna walk you through the Saldano editor for the Saldano Astro 20. Connect the Astro 20 via USB to your computer and launch the Saldano editor application. The app will come alive and reflect what is represented on the front panel of the Astro 20. One thing to note is that this is not a plugin, so you cannot change the knobs or any of these switches from the app, but this is very helpful for customizing your Astro 20. From the editor, you could change amp channels. You could assign galaxies. And you can bypass the IRs from the direct output. You can also select your IR per channel. All of these functions are easily accessible from the front panel. Channel switching is a single click on the channel switch. A single click on the galaxy switch scrolls through the galaxies. A single click on the cabinet switch changes the IR assignment. Holding the cabinet switch clicked will bypass the IRs. You can also assign the four foot switches from the Saldano editor. One important thing to keep in mind is that foot switch number one will be represented as program change zero. Foot switch two is program change one. There is a one digit offset, and that is because the program changes are MIDI, and if you have a MIDI controller that has something like 128 available slots, the program change information will start at zero. To assign a program change from the Saldano editor, choose your desired program change destination. Make sure you're set to Omni, or if you're going to a specific MIDI channel, you can assign that here. Choose your channel, choose your galaxy, if you would like IRs on or bypassed, and select which IR you would like to assign, and click the little disk icon to save. The Saldano Astro 20 comes preloaded with six fantastic sounding IRs. The IRs we chose complement the Astro 20 and also show a bit of the Saldano cabinet lineage. If you'd like to know a little more about a specific cabinet, you can look in the virtual cab section. There's a plus sign here that will open up cabinet descriptions. For instance, the Legend cab is a tweed cab that Mike Saldano made for a blues legend. The Astro 20 has 12 cabinet IRs available in its memory and you could choose your favorite six to be available from the front panel. If you click the audition switch, the IRs will load automatically as you scroll through them. If you prefer to apply your IRs in a DAW rather than inside the Astro 20, you can click extract all. This will load all of the included IRs onto your PC. If you have a specific IR that you're absolutely in love with and must use, have no fear, Click any of the IR slots you'd like to replace. Click on the folder icon. Choose the IR that you love and it will load straight in. And now that is assigned to that satellite. When we come back around, that's the newly loaded IR. It functions just like the preloaded Saldano IRs. I'm gonna give you one quick pro tip here. Uh, and this is for when you are using the direct recording out. Don't forget about the IR bypass. It works best on the clean channel. So I'm not assigning a galaxy. I have the clean channel assigned. Uh, this 212 V30 cab actually sounds quite nice on the clean channel. I could save that. Now if I wanted to, I could go to channel two. I'm also gonna make that green and clean. I'm gonna turn off the IR for that one. The clean sound without an IR is a fantastic, super clean sound. If you use the green channel without the IR, throw on some compression and some reverb delay, you have a beautiful textural clean sound that's different than your clean sound with an IR.
the last thing I'm going to show you is that you can change your virtual Tolex from this little switch right here. Oh yeah, I love that. That is the Saldano editor for your Saldano Astro 20. Now go play some guitar. <laughs>